Google has just released Gemini 1.5 Pro. They are latest and greatest model that can process up to 1 million tokens of text, code or images or even videos. So in this video, given that I'm one of the few selected people who have access to the 1 million token window size of Gemini 1.5 Pro, I'll show you its capabilities and I'll walk you through in terms of how amazing it is. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Gemini 1.5 Pro is basically multimodal. When I say multimodal, it simply means you can put in text, you can put in images, you can put in videos and you can get responses based on what you input. The first version of Gemini had a maximum context window size of 32,768 tokens. Just to give you context, in large language models, the context window refers to the maximum amount of text that the model can consider at any one point of time while generating a response. However, the latest version that is Gemini 1.5 Pro has a significantly larger context window size that is 1 million tokens. We'll now start our demo. Let me start by showing you the magic of Gemini 1.5 Pro using PDF files. In order for you to ask questions to a PDF, you might have used vector databases along with RAGS, but with Gemini 1.5 Pro, you don't need all of that right now. So what I'll quickly show you is I'll quickly upload a PDF file and in between I'm also showing you the PDF file in terms of what it is. Now I'll ask questions to this particular PDF file. The first and foremost step in order to ask questions to a PDF file, what I'll do is I'll select the model Gemini 1.5 Pro. Once you select the model, the images, the video section will kind of unblur itself, which is where you can kind of now ask questions or you can basically pass in input images and videos to your prompt. So what I'll quickly do is I'll upload a PDF and ask questions to it. So let me do that quickly. So I have a PDF called as book underscore one dot PDF. There are multiple terms in this book related to 20th century American literature, which I want to understand, which is where I'll ask questions to this particular PDF. Okay. Now I want to understand those terms in simple language, which is where I'll start utilizing Gemini 1.5. So as you can clearly see here, my book one dot PDF is taking up around 88,000 tokens, which is fairly less as compared to the 1 million token size that I have. So what I'll do quickly is now I'll ask question that I want to understand from this PDF. I'll ask the question, what is Southern Renaissance? And I'll quickly run the prompt. So here is the output. The Southern Renaissance was a literary and cultural movement. And then you can read forward. So what I'm able to see right now is if I have a sizable size PDF, it shouldn't be like really, really long where the token size kind of exceeds 1 million tokens. But if you have a decent enough size PDF and if you want to ask questions to your PDF, then all you have to do is you just have to upload it in the prompt. The tokenization will happen automatically by Google Gemini 1.5 Pro and you will get the results as you're seeing here. Let me ask one more question to the PDF. The question is fairly simple. What is Harlem Renaissance? So I'll quickly run the prompt now. Let's wait for the response to be generated. So the model is doing an amazing job in terms of understanding context from the PDF and giving me answers based on the question that I ask. I'm truly impressed by what I'm seeing here with respect to the PDF capabilities of Gemini 1.5 Pro. Let's move on to the next set of examples wherein I'll now ask questions related to images to Gemini 1.5 Pro. So in this image, you will see a person and it's none other than me. Uh, this is after I had my second dose of vaccination. So in this particular image, what I want to do is I want to read out the text that exists in this particular image. So what I'll do next is I'll upload this particular image into Gemini 1.5 Pro prompt and I'll ask a couple of questions related to this particular image. Now the question that I ask is fairly simple. Extract all the text in the image. So let me go ahead and run this particular prompt. So these are the various text blocks that are present in the image. Now there are two languages in the image. Let me ask Google Gemini 1.5 Pro about the different languages that are present in the image. So the question that I ask is what are the different languages present in the image? So it says the different languages in the images are Marathi and English. 
So the good part about this particular output is it's given me some amount of translation as well. Again, if you're still not very amazed by what all Gemini 1.5 Pro is doing, then I mean, what else can it do is what my question is, right? So it's able to understand different set of languages, give you a translation in English as well. So it's doing a fabulous job. Now I'll move on to the second image, which is a bit more complex. So I have this particular image. For all of you who are wondering what this image is, this is basically a railway ticket pass that we have in India if we have to use the railway system. So if I have to travel from point A to point B, uh, say at a daily level, which is where we create a monthly pass. So this is a similar pass that exists and it's a very old pass. So the year that is mentioned is 2017. So that's how old the pass is. I still have the photograph of it. I want Gemini 1.5 Pro to explain whatever is there in the image. Let's see how much of an accuracy it maintains in terms of describing this image. So the question that I ask is describe the image and let's see what the output is. So here it's able to identify everything that I could have thought of. The image is a photo of a train ticket. The ticket is for a journey from Thane to CST in Mumbai, India. The ticket is valid for travel from 29th November 2017 to December 2017. This typically falls in that same window where I started this particular YouTube channel as well. Like I started creating educational content during this window itself. And the name of the passenger is Mr. Bhavesh. He's 26 years old. The ticket cost is 755 rupees. So everything that you could have thought about that what is there in this particular ticket has been extracted beautifully by Gemini 1.5 Pro. We are in a stage where technology is no less than a dream where it's able to read such weird documents that are not part of the training corpus as well and it's able to give out correct accurate responses. This is truly amazing. Okay, let's move on to the video section now where I'm assuming the context window will also increase. So let's move forward. So this is a small video that I captured while walking across the streets of New Delhi. So there is a very famous monument that I'm capturing in this video, which is where I want Gemini 1.5 Pro to tell me which monument it is. So I upload the video and I ask which monument is present in the video. So let me quickly run the prompt. The answer that I get is India Gate. This is the correct response, obviously. And I'm truly mesmerized by the capabilities that Gemini 1.5 Pro has. It was able to understand the video frames. It was then able to give me the response in terms of which particular monument it is. Truly amazing. I'll go forward and I'll ask questions related to the second video now. I'll quickly upload the video and I'll show you the video in the meantime as well. And then I'll ask questions with respect to this video. So this is the second video. I have two of my friends playing table tennis. So it's basically taking around 7368 tokens out of all the tokens that are present. And I ask a simple question, describe this particular video and I'll quickly run the prompt. So here is the output. The video shows two men playing table tennis. The camera follows the ball as it hits back and forth between the two players. The video is shot in a bright open space with a white wall in the background. The men are both wearing casual clothes and appearing to be enjoying themselves. This is truly remarkable. If you ever want to understand videos in depth, just push it to Google Gemini 1.5 Pro and it will tell you the entire output. So truly, this is a remarkable step forward by the Google team by releasing Gemini 1.5 Pro. The model is super amazing with respect to its multimodal capabilities along with the context size increase that it offers. So once it's available to everyone, you should start playing around with Gemini 1.5 Pro and you will truly enjoy the experience of using such a high end model for your day to day tasks that you have in mind. So this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do like the content that I create on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on data science and machine learning along with generative AI. Thank you so much for watching the video.